of games coming out this week and we're kicking it off with Nipponichi Software's The Liar Princess and The Blind Prince. It's a side-scrolling platformer where you play as a wolf monster who has to guide a blind prince through a dark and dangerous forest. You can switch between two different forms, a human princess and the larger and more dangerous wolf monster. The princess has to guide the prince by holding his hand, but you have to become a monster to defeat monsters and solve environmental puzzles. Switching between the two is the crux of the gameplay, and there's plenty of additional abilities and items to use to keep things fresh. Structured much like a storybook, complete with a narrator, Liar Princess was created after an annual in-studio game design competition. It's got a style all its own, and it shouldn't fall under your radar despite how busy this week is. Originally announced back in 2014, Crackdown 3 is finally coming out this week after a long development cycle, and it's about damn time. Just like previous Crackdown games, you explore a large open world where you can blow up pretty much anything to defeat evil organizations controlling a city. And when I say you can blow up pretty much anything, I mean that destructible environments are in Crackdown for the first time ever. Trust me, there are a lot of power-ups and weapons you can use to blow up the city real good. What's more, there's an online multiplayer mode called Wrecking Zone that lets you destroy the entire city. And to top it all off, none other than Terry Crews is here to give life to Commander Jackson in this extremely over-the-top action game. Somebody give me my jam! Hey Xbox fans, you gotta pick this up. As if there weren't enough games coming out this week, Far Cry New Dawn is here to take the series to where it hasn't gone before, the apocalypse. Set in the same section of Montana as Far Cry 5, you play as a survivor of a nuclear apocalypse that occurred 17 years ago. The region is now being invaded by a roving band of bandits, so that means it's time to pick up some guns, grab a vehicle, and unleash a ton of lead. This is typical Far Cry gameplay, with an apocalyptic twist. Which means that sometimes you'll be marking targets and gunning them down with a sniper rifle, and other times that means shooting a saw blade gun. This is a smaller Far Cry title, though that doesn't mean it's going to be any less chaotic. If you want a slightly happier apocalypse this week, New Dawn is what you need. The other game set in the post-apocalypse that's coming out this week is the considerably darker Metro Exodus. The franchise is normally set in the ruins of the Moscow subway system, but this sequel is hitching a train ride elsewhere, literally. This time around, you're journeying across the entirety of Russia on a quest to the Far East. You'll explore desolate deserts, flooded marshes, and, of course, dark and horrifying subways, though in a series first, there will be plenty of open world areas to search. The Metro series is known for emphasizing survival, and you'll have to search for gas masks, precious few bullets, and supplies. This is all so you can endure the gangs of bandits, cults, hordes of monsters, ghosts, radiation that threaten you at every turn. Metro Exodus is challenging, harrowing, and most importantly, unlike any other video game franchise out there. This isn't a game that you should skip. Anime fans, we've got the game for you! Bandai Namco's fighting game crossover Jump Force features some of the most iconic characters from Shonen Jump's history. Jump Force is a 3 vs 3 fighter that takes place in 3D environments. Your team shares a health bar, and you can switch between them at any point to beat the hell out of your opponent. It's fast-paced, ridiculously over-the-top, and the visuals show it all with great detail. In addition to the normal batch of multiplayer modes, there's also a single-player story if you're into that sort of thing in your fighting games. Going back to the game's roster, instead of asking who's in Jump Force, it's probably easier to ask who isn't in the game. Jump Force has got Goku and Vegeta from Dragon Ball, Luffy and Zoro from One Piece, Boruto and his dad from Naruto, and countless other characters from over 15 franchises. Just try and name a more ambitious crossover than this, I dare you. If you like fighting games or anime, Jump Force is waiting for you on February 15th. 